Hey everybody, what is going on and welcome back to another RuneScape Classic video. This one's going to be a little bit different. Um, I got the idea from Zuer, who is another player on the RC Preservation server. So there'll be a card. I think hopefully I can link it on a card. If not, his video will be in the description. You can also check out his other videos on his channel. He does some uh, pretty cool short content as well as... Uh, I don't mean shorts content, but like some short content. He does uh, picking videos and stuff. So definitely check out his channel for some other RuneScape Classic content. But today, this actually I think is one he made. I don't know if he made this or this was just one somebody had made and he found it. But I'm pretty sure he made this because this looks like the very, very same one that he did on his channel. But I did not watch all of his videos, so I will have nothing but my own experience and my own biases to go with as far as RuneScape Classic skills training goes. But today we're going to be ranking the skills of RuneScape Classic from hardest to train to easiest. But I wanted to preface this by saying that the problem with RuneScape Classic and ranking the skills on easiest to hardest to train is that there are obviously some that are just going to be way harder to train now, uh, especially, that, especially due to the fact that RuneScape Classic, the official servers are no longer around where training certain skills on there would have been easier because there were certain factors involved like having multiple worlds you could hop around to making it easier to train things like thieving by being able to just world hop for the nature rune chest um, and I should also again thieving by being able to world hop to sell cakes back to the cake stall um, so certain factors are going to factor in here about what is the hardest to the easiest skills and also with RuneScape Classic, it really depends on how you train your skills. Some skills can be a lot easier to train. For instance, attack uh, can be pretty easy to train because in RuneScape Classic, they have things called wine training where you just drink wine to lower your stat low enough that you could just continuously train on dummies, essentially all the way to 99, I'm pretty sure if you wanted to, without gaining any HP. So there are going to be certain things that are certain factors that we can go over to kind of decide what's easy and what's hard. And I wouldn't even say that there's anything that's really particularly that hard except for a few skills. So I think probably the easiest thing to do is start off with the hardest tier. Now there's not many skills in RuneScape Classic. You see we got woodcutting, thieving, strength, attack, defense, smithing, mining, prayer, ranged, magic, fletching, herb lore, or herb law, however you want to say it, fishing, cooking, HP, crafting, and agility. I think I already said cooking as well in there. So in my opinion, there's really only two hard skills to train. That's herb lore, that's prayer. And the reason I put prayer up there is because nobody during the official original run of RuneScape Classic. Now, obviously RuneScape Classic was available all the way until, what was it, 2018? I'm counting the official wiki, and the wiki is not always correct. I'm sure there were people that got 99 prayer post RuneScape 2's release, but from when RuneScape Classic released to RuneScape 2, not a single person on the server ever reached 99 prayer. As far as I know, that's what the wiki says. I may be wrong, uh, but as far as I can tell, nobody between the release of Classic and or the release of OG RuneScape, at the time just RuneScape and RuneScape 2, ever completed 99 Prayer. So, in my opinion, it's up here at least the second hardest skill to train. It's also the most expensive on RC Preservation to go from 1 to 99 Prayer would cost you something like 434 million GP. That is actually an insane amount of money. But... Prayer in this, I mean, in this game, a lot of skills combine together. So training your combat, therefore trains your prayer. It also gets you raw materials, which could therefore train your herbalor as well. With that being said, herbalor is hands down the hardest skill to train in this game. I'm currently doing my Legends Quest run, and I regret selling my herbs. I did have to do it to make some money to be able to afford gear. It's not impossible to get herbs. It just takes a long time, and it's a very involved task. You have to get vials, have to fill them with water, or or buy them, which is probably going to be pretty expensive. You need herbs, which are very expensive on our server. Uh, you need the secondaries for them, like unicorn horns, fucking eyes of newt, uh, whatever. I don't really know a lot of the others, I'm going to be honest. Um, 
So in my opinion, these are the hardest two skills to train. I maybe would throw smithing in the harder, only because it takes a while. But in my opinion, smithing's not even hard to train. And also, I guess I should say, what is our criteria for being hard to train? Is it hard to get it to 99? Like, what is the criteria? Because in RuneScape Classic, there are, like, there's a, gets to a point, as Zur says in his video, where you no longer need to train a skill, such as fire making. You only need 30 fire making to complete all of the quests in the game for Sea Slug. So, it's not really an insanely hard skill to train, and as you get farther along, it becomes a lot easier of a skill to train. And, I should also say that another underlying game mechanic in Classic is the failure to do something. So, the failure to chop a tree, the failure to light a fire, the failure to fish a fish. Mining is one of the few that doesn't have that. You just click on it and it will continuously hit the rock for you. But fishing, woodcutting, fire making are all skills that can fail. And thus, it means that the lower tier training methods actually become some of the best. Now I'm at a point where I'm one ticking regular trees, I was one ticking at level 30 fire making, regular logs. So in my opinion, these are honestly relatively easy skills to train. I'll put them in the easy. They're probably, I don't want to put easiest skill to train, although realistically, woodcutting is probably the easiest skill to train. And I'd almost put mining in there because you can just sit there and power mine in a rock and all the way to 99. You're not going to make any money. But um, I should say the reason you can do that is another underlying game mechanic, which is uh, a little bit different in Classic than it is on RuneScape 2 and beyond. And that is that in RuneScape 2 and beyond, when your bag is full, you can no longer gain material from that thing, like chopping a tree, a rock. But in Classic, you could just keep mining uh, mining or woodcutting forever, because when you max out your bag, it just drops the stuff on the ground. Now, that has been a problem for me because I've accidentally lost materials doing it, especially during my uh, during my coal grind, which you guys will probably see here soon. I have a ton of content to go through and edit, like hours upon hours, you know, theory crafting, different things, all kinds of stuff. So I would probably say the easiest, the easiest individual skills, and I'm not going to kind of like, obviously smithing is a relatively, I, would, I don't even know if I want to say it's a hard, it's a moderate skill to train. It's not really that hard because there's some really good mining areas in Classic. It's just very time consuming. But I would say that woodcutting and mining are technically the easiest two skills. I would also even want to throw in agility. It does suck ass to train in this game because we don't have rooftop courses. We just have very, very, very bare bones uh, agility stuff. But in all reality, it's not a hard skill to train. I've seen a method where a guy literally just jumped over a wall back and forth to train his agility. I need to go figure out how to do that because it's not actually listed on the wiki. And I don't remember what video series I was watching. I think it was the guy who was on a quest to be Legends Quest before the servers closed. Um, and I think they actually, I think the mods kept the servers open until he was done. So that's pretty cool. Um, so now we've got kind of quite a few uh, skills out of the way. Um, I still think Herblore is by far the hardest, probably Prayer. And I say that because it takes a long time to train them. You have to get bones from somewhere. And even on Original Classic, it probably still would have been pretty pricey to train a lot of that stuff. Now, I'll be honest, on OG Classic, I played quite a bit even after it had gone to RS2. There were several different times when they reopened Classic 2009, 2011, and then I think 2016, maybe it was 2013, and then it was 2016 because there was about a two to three year gap. But then in 2016, they decided to leave it open permanently, and then that's what allowed me to come in and play on a new account a new classic account. I actually already had a classic account from before, back in the 2009 reopenings. My oh, my OG main account. I played on classic a bit. Um, kind of wish I would have had membership to get back on it to see where I'd got, but I don't think I got very far. I didn't understand and like it back then. I didn't really have an appreciation for the beauty that is RuneScape Classic at the time. So I would say smithing is moderately hard. You can't fail like you can with these skills or with also with agility I suppose as well but that's just built into the skill this is more built into the mechanics of the game um, what would be a hard skill to train in my opinion I don't really think any skill in this game is particularly hard besides these two and the only reason these two are hard to train 
is because of the monetary value, the time investment that it would take to gather the raw materials if you were an Iron Man, or the amount of money it would take to gather to train these. Um, I would say another easy skill to train is actually magic and uh, and uh, range. They're actually pretty easy. Oh, sorry, it's flushing. Sorry, um, and range. I'd say they're pretty easy skills to train overall. You can literally just sit there behind a rock at Chaos Druids and blast uh, air strike at them. Um, you could, there's a Edgeville Dungeon Rats that you can shoot over the fence. I literally used bronze arrows and just the best bow I could, and I got to 40 in like an hour or two. I, it didn't take me very long at all to train ranged. Magic's not very hard either. Uh, the hardest part about magic, I'd probably put it in moderate. Let me, let me, and I'll tell you why we're moving it. Magic is expensive. Magic takes a lot of time to train, much like these do, because it's hard to get the resources. Now you could train your melee combat stats and go, um, and, and maybe you've earned enough runes in the game to train it. But the old, and there, but the thing to remember is no GE. We have one world. There's no GE. Uh, the only options we have are the Discord server. There's a marketplace on there where people will post if they have a big, uh, a lot of bulk uh, of certain items. But the only way to get runes in this game is to buy them from a shop. And you'll see people like me on my alt account. I, I only did it for the runes for 1 to 60, so I'm not there anymore. And I didn't even get all the runes. I just decided to say fuck it. I kept getting interrupted buying my runes. But you'll see a lot of times alts will sit there. People will, people will have an alt account sitting there buying runes up from the shop. And uh, Aubrey is one of the best because he sells them at 50 apiece. Uh, I do suppose you could get them from the Mage Guild, but that requires you to have, was it, 66 Magic, 65 Magic, so you've already probably gotten pretty far, and honestly, you only need 60 Magic, you don't really need to go beyond that, because 60 Magic gets you the Mage Arena quest, so you don't really need to go beyond 60, so the only reason to go beyond 60, as Zuer says in his video, is for your uh, total level, to, to bump your total level up, so it's not really... Uh, a very difficult it's, it's not really a difficult skill to train but it is because of the materials required range in my opinion is a lot easier um, you could buy people would just give you you know um, like a maple lombo you know or a u lombo it's not u lombo is probably not I a guy did give me a, I think an oak longbo maybe or a willow so again I would say and this is the this is the problem with this a lot of these skills are not hard to train honestly um, Fishing's pretty easy to train, so is cooking. Best place, you fish in Camelot, you fish at the Catherby beaches. There's a range just uh, northeast of the bank, like literally there's a house, and then I'm sure a lot of people know it, where the bank is and there's a house kind of to the northeast, a little bit, very short walk. And I just go there, I cook all my fish, I bank them, I do it again, and very easy to train. Again, I feel like the problem is that a lot of these skills are easy to train, we should I should maybe be thinking of it in terms of nine getting to ninety nine. How long would that take you? How hard is that skill to train to ninety nine? And then that would probably change some things. I would probably put I would probably put smithing up there if we're going that route because it would take a long time. Mining the any skill that you drop you can you can just power farm. They're gonna be in the easiest category no matter what. I would probably say hit points are hard because it just takes a long time. You have to do combat to get it. There's no other way about it. No XP lamps, no soul wars, no pest control, none of that stuff. So it's a pretty hard skill to train, I would say. And that's only because of its inherent latent abilities. <laughs> Sorry. It's really it's really because of its inherent mechanics within the game make it a difficult skill to train. So the combat stats. These are, again, pretty easy to train, if I'm going to be honest. Um... I pretty much trained at the uh, in in Alcarid my entire 1 to 40 for the most part. I don't really remember training anywhere else because you can go right from the men to the warriors. You have the plate leg shop. You have the scimitar shop. Although to be honest, you probably would want to be training with a two-hander because in this game, again, it's another uh, underlying game mechanic. There's no weapon speed. So you want the heaviest, hardest hitting weapons. So two-handers have the same speed as a, as a scimitar do. So... Again, pretty easy skills to train. Crafting, this one is probably one of the harder skills to train. Um, and I might put Fletching in there. Well, it may not seem like these would probably be hard to train. You need gems, 
and gems are pretty hard to get on our server. You either have to get them from mining, which I didn't get a lot from my 1 to 50 grind from mining, which is still... I still have to get two more levels for 52 for Legends Quest, but for my 1 to 50, I did not get a lot of gems. Um, I probably got like 10 total. Mining coal rocks did get me a lot more than mining other rocks, but it's still pretty hard to train. Now, if you just sat there and made gold necklaces forever, yeah, probably not super hard to train crafting, but... That also means getting all those materials yourself. You need 40 mining to mine gold. You need 40 smithing to smith gold. And I don't even have 40 smithing myself. I currently I currently have um, 40 smithing banked, but I need to do Taurus Trap, and then I have the rest for 40. Then we can really start cracking on crafting. But it's, again, a, a thing where the game is a lot different than RS2. So while a RuneScape 2 player might think, oh, shit, why is crafting so hard? Well... Like I said, you have to get all your own resources or buy them. And gold bars are not particularly expensive, but if we're looking at this from an Iron Man perspective, it's pretty hard to train. And I would say for an Iron Man perspective, fleshing is not super hard to train. Actually, I take that back. Only reason I have to take that back and put it in easiest is because there's actually a glitch during the Taurus Trap quest for fletching where you can make the prototype dart without needing bronze bars. So you need to have feathers and then make the prototype dart. And as long as you make one successful prototype dart, you can just continue to make them without a bronze bar. So the prototype dart is uh, makes it extremely easy. I actually completely forgot about that. And that's also because it scales with your fletching level. So you can do that method as long as you have feathers, which are actually pretty difficult to get. And we're, there's there's been a problem on our server with a lack of feather uh with a lack of feathers being brought into the game. And that's because what happens is you get a pretty large influx of like uh, of dedicated players that want to play the game, but they eventually level up and range out. So without a steady, without a steady stream of new players, the, a lot of that early stuff becomes either hard to get as far as things that need to be used later on in the game, like herbs, feathers, like lower level stuff. But it also becomes less valuable because less and less players need those things, so the value falls off. For instance, steel bars. Steel bars used to be about a thousand gold pieces about a year ago. Now they're more around 400 to 600, probably uh, in that range, probably about 500, 550 uh, from what I saw. But not a lot of people are buying them. So what I'm probably going to do once I finish my smithing ground, I'm doing steel bars. I'm probably going to make cannonballs because I really want to try out the cannon and just do a bunch of stuff uh, with cannon. Now thieving. Again, it, it's hard It's hard to think of a lot of these skills as being hard because you don't need to train them for very long. So for thinking in context of 99s, thieving is probably one of the easier skills. I'm not going to put it in easiest. Um, and maybe I probably would put this in easier because it is a little, it, it's tedious and it's annoying to train. For instance, let's look at the uh, the quests here. So let's look at thieving. So thieving, you need 50 thieving. I'm pretty close to that myself. And honestly, thieving is really easy to train. Like I said, Al Karid is a great place to train because you can train not only your thieving, but you can train your melee combat at, at the same time. Pickpocket till you have to, to fight them. You kill them, move on to the next man. There's a bunch of men there. There's uh, Al Karid warriors. Once you hit, I think it's 35, 36, you can, you can pickpocket them. And then you can, by that point, you've probably moved up to the point where you can fight them in combat pretty easy. You've probably made a good bit of money already. So how about this? For all the tiers where we have multiple, let's rank them. In, honestly, I've kind of ranked them in order from hardest, from from the hardest in that tier to the lowest. I would almost say Prayer is harder to train than Herblore because of the price involved. And I don't even think we have anybody on our server that's 99 Prayer. So... I only put this here because it's just uh, it's always been a very expensive skill to train and it's pretty difficult on classic so prayer is just burying bones the only the only barrier to entry for prayer is money and that's why I say it's a hard it's one of the hardest skills to train in the game I I don't know I almost want to put it in harder now I've said that ah, I kind of talked myself out of it you know what I'll put it in harder or even hard tier if you if you just came in and you had a bunch of money you could but earning money on the server it's not in, it's not inherently difficult but you wind up having to spend a lot on stuff so the money that you do make pretty much just gets 
goes away pretty quickly. Like I had two, I made I made two over 250k, uh, or pushed 250k on my last video, and I think I got pretty close to about 300, and I've pretty much spent most of that just buying runes. I think I spent about, actually after I bought rune, my my rune armor, I think I dropped to about like 140k, and then I spent about 70 to 80 of that buying all the all of the runes that I needed. So. Money is a barrier to entry of this, and time, same with Herblor, time, availability of the resources needed, um, and a lot of it's expensive. Unicorn horns are like four to 500 GP a piece, which they're not like really hard to get, to be honest, but it, it's still hard to just get all the materials and stuff. It takes a lot of prep to figure out what all you need to get your uh, Herblor levels. And we need what is it, 45 for Legends Quest. So I've got a very long way to train. I I have I think I'm 14 or something on that. So let's look at this one here. I would say fire making is the easiest. Like once you, it's it's difficult to begin, but once you start, like you could literally sit in Varak at the castle and just chop trees, light the fires, burn them. It's very quick. It's very easy to do that. Um, I got 30 relatively quick. Because it starts, it like starts out here. It's very, it starts out here. It's very hard, but as time goes on, the curve goes like this, and it becomes very easy. Like if you're just doing logs to burn them and and level it up pretty quickly. So, what would I say is the next easiest? I actually think ranged would probably be the next easiest in my opinion. Probably followed by the combats, uh, just being very easy to train. Because hey. You just go out and you attack some guys and you gain some XP. So pretty easy to train. There's a lot of good training areas and options like Chaos Druids, Alcreed Warriors, also drop herbs. Then I would probably say it's fishing because, again, fishing. I almost don't even want to put fishing here because you can power fish. Um, cooking is probably harder. Cooking is definitely harder than it is to fish. So I should say I, put, I should put fishing down here because you can power fish it. Um... Realistically, fletching, fletching would be the easiest for uh, whatever you need to make a prototype dart, like 10 fletching, I think. Yeah. So it would technically be the easiest if you do the prototype dart glitch. And it's not even a glitch. It's like a game bug um, that happens that allows you to do it. So very, very easy. I, but I don't want to put them above these because without it, it's actually probably higher up on the tier list. But because of the prototype dart glitch or bug, it makes it pretty easy. Fishing, uh, you can also power fish. So I guess I should put it up here then. Uh, I kind of wasn't thinking about that at the time because usually I don't do that. But I would I would probably put in the easy tier because if you're doing something like cage fishing, you you have to right click because there's there's no it's not it's not the first <laughs> weirdly it's not the first option on its own uh, pool. So harpoon fishing is pretty easy. You just click it over and over because harpoon is the first option. So. Um, pretty easy to train it that way, so you could probably put in the easiest for power fishing. But uh, and again, like I said, it depends on how you do it. It could either be easy or it could be the easy one of the easiest skills. I feel like this was supposed to be like one skill was the easiest, one skill was the hardest, and everything else is in between. But I feel like that's not really fair because a lot of these these three skills can be powered. You can power skill them. This isn't really that hard. Yeah, you can fail, but this also helps train your combats and other stuff. Agility, it's not hard. It's just time-consuming. So, like, there's a wall you can just jump over back and forth and train agility. So, But, yeah, guys, this is my RuneScape Classic tier list. I think this is a pretty good layout for the skills. Some of these skills I haven't trained past, like, 50 or 60. I don't think I have actually 60 in any skill. I'm probably closest with mining, I think, because I just grinded that to 50, which you guys will get to see in my next video. Spoiler alert. But overall, I've got a pretty good grasp of how a lot of the skills train, and really the only the hardest ones are the ones that I would say are, are gate-kept by money. If I had the money, yeah, I could train um, crafting. You could also buy gems, or if you had thieving at 75, you can actually steal from the gem stall. So thieving might be worth it before I start my crafting grind, but I need 40, I need 50 crafting. So at some point, I am gonna have to have gems to to really train that, because getting to 50 is gonna be really hard. If I don't, well, I shouldn't say really hard. I could do like I could do gold amulets, but the problem is I would have to mine a metric shit ton of gold. 
gold doesn't have a lot of great spots to mine in RuneScape Classic. Um, and obviously not having the GE makes it a lot harder. I could buy gold bars, that is true, but uh, I kind of want to earn it. I, I was trying not to buy stuff as much as I could. I did buy a Rune Battle Axe, but that's because the drop rate on that is actually pretty low. Well, I, sh I shouldn't say low, but the, the enemies you have to fight are pretty difficult to, to fight. But yeah, overall, I think this is a pretty good estimation of how difficult the skills are. I felt like magic should could be farther down here, but in the grand scheme of what it takes to train it, it is kind of difficult. Range, I didn't really have a problem with this one because I think I did fletching initially to make my bronze arrows. You can also buy them because nobody's buying bronze arrows. And then you could just sit there and kill rats in the Edgeville dungeon for all the way to 60, 70 if you really wanted to. And I'm always tempted because uh, the DPS of the cannon skills with the range level, I think on RuneScape 2 it has like a flat, has like flat damage scaling, so it doesn't, it doesn't actually scale from any skill. At least I don't think it does. It could, I could be wrong about that, but it scales from your range level. So I actually might wind up doing that at some point, or finding like a better enemy to train range on. Actually, going out to the wilderness and fighting the greater demons would probably not be a bad idea with range, um, because really, if you died with range gear. I'm going to be honest, you, and if you died with like a thousand bronze arrows or like steel arrows or something, or iron, iron arrows, you're not really losing anything, if I'm being honest. Like, you are really not losing anything dying with that outside of money. And honestly, there's probably not going to be anybody that's going to bother you while you're doing it. And I think, if I'm not incorrect, you could say spot them over the walls in deep wilderness. So, um... But yeah, that is really a breakdown of all the skills. Cooking is not really hard. You you train it while you train fishing. Unless you want to sell the the raw materials as certs. Uh, you could do that. But overall, I think that this is a good this is a good layout. Most of these are really easy. There's only like a few that are difficult. Hit points are just inherently hard because of how the mechanic works in the game. Crafting's hard because it takes a while to get all the materials. First off, you have to get, like I said, 40 mining, 40 smithing for gold. Herb lore's expensive. Prayer is extremely expensive if you don't self-train it, which it took a while. And then I remember about questing. And there are a couple of quests that you could do that help boost these along. Um, smithing's hard because, of, again, the inherent requirement of gathering the resources same with magic range is a lot easier to gather the materials for and it, and they don't go for as much on the server unless it's like addy or rune arrows something like that which would probably be pretty expensive uh, but overall everything here is relatively easy to train and yeah that's about it we talked for about 30 minutes i think that's a good that's a good breakdown of the uh of the skills i, th I think uh, if anybody has any maybe any input on what they think as far as how difficult the skills are to train you know feel free to leave a comment let me know what you guys think I felt like I broke this down pretty well um, I think overall a lot of skills are pretty easy to train um, except for maybe like it like I said except for these like few up here and even these aren't hard to train it's just the amount of time it takes to gather materials which I'd almost want to put I'd almost want to put this down here. There's not really a harder skill to train. This would almost be down here, but this takes a long time to get the skills required to be able to train this to a high level. And um, also it's hard to quantify how hard these skills are to train because of the fact that you don't need to get them to 99 for any reason. There's no skill capes. There's no, you know, um, there's no uh, max cape. So there's no, no reason to really train to 99 other than to say that you did it. Um, or be a, be a server first because there are some skills that have not been 99 yet so uh, but anyway guys I appreciate all the views and I really appreciate all the people that have come out and watched my videos stay tuned because I have a, a nice little grind video coming out I, I wasn't sure how to do the next set of videos because really right now I'm in the I'm in the mindset or I'm on the I'm on the goal. I have the goal of just grinding out a lot of stats. I'm doing a lot of, uh, I'm doing a lot of beh uh, behind the scenes work, if you want to say. Like, there's some of my videos. I spent hours looking through the wiki, 
while I was recording and talking about things like looking at different methods for training things like hey if I go do Taurus Trap you know if I finish it I lose out on the good fletching um, method the, the prototype a dart method but then I also gain enough XP that when I go smith the rest of my banked smithing materials mining uh, my my uh, ores I go smith the rest of the stuff I grinded for steel bars that would get me to 40 smithing but I lose out on the fletching thing so it's kind of like a yin and a yang it's a you know type thing like do one thing lose another so I've been, you know, plenty of that was going on. I did have some people, I did have one person ask for like maybe more of like my thought process on things, which is really what I was trying to do with some of the recorded content I did. And maybe I'll edit all of that up into its own video to kind of give you guys my thought process, maybe show you how I go about looking at the wiki and my thought process behind training certain skills and doing things the way that I do and where I train them because there is a reason to all the madness on training in RuneScape Classic. Um, it's not really a race for me but I would like to do things in the least amount of time that it takes to do them. I did just grind 99 Smithy on old school RuneScape so the burnout was pretty real but I've been having a good time you know I came back we beat Dragon Slayer, which was awesome. It was kind of a, it was kind of a goal I'd had set for quite a while, and obviously I I had started doing it, you know, when I first started posting videos, and I kind of got a little bit burnout, sidetracked by other things, other games, other life stuff. But I've been back playing and been having a good time. I grinded out the stuff for the for steel bars. Kind of just been chilling. Oh yeah, and then I did um, train some wood cutting and fire making. So I've just kind of been chilling since then. Um, uh, working on just doing math, figuring out things that uh, how I want to do certain things, and yeah, that's pretty much about it, guys. Like I said, I appreciate everybody that's come out and watched. Um, leave me feedback on what kind of videos you'd like to see. If you'd like to see longer content, longer videos, let me know. I can definitely start doing longer videos where maybe I kind of break down my thought process on things. I could do a whole video on how on my thought process of the next. Uh, step the next tier of my account um, because now we're on to the hero's quest but there's a lot of we're now kind of opened up to the ability to do a lot of other things training methods now is the time to really grind out a lot of my skills get that out of the way because once hero's quest is done I mean we're gonna be have a lot of things open we'll have the dragon battle axe available for us to buy and it will be a good day so thank you guys for watching leave me your feedback I know there are people from the server on here so you could leave your name if you want to leave your 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 IGN your in-game name down in the description or in the description in the comments and kind of give me your feedback which you what you would like to see what you think would be interesting I have a lot of ideas for cool stuff that we could do uh, or that I could do for content that could include other people on the server so yeah thank you guys for watching and have a good day